I'm Jet Tila. I've been a chef for about 30 years now, and we are cooking one of my favorite things ever, which is beef. I started cooking seriously because I have pretty massive ADD, and as a child, it was really hard to control. And my grandmother figured out really early that I needed a task. As soon as I could stand, she would put a stool next to the counter, and it was like, peel this, wash this, taste this, stir this. And as long as I was in motion, I was under control. But the byproduct of that was just learning from three years old. I mean, I got my first 10,000 hours of real cooking by the time I was in my teens. I think people think cooking at home is less stressful than cooking for a thousand people, fine dining, banquet. I don't think so, man. I think it's actually more pressure, you know, because the stakes are higher for me. I want to make sure my wife, my kids, my friends are having a great meal. And kids are brutal, man. They're brutally honest. They'll tell you, Dad, this sucks, or this is really delicious. Yeah, tonight is, it, it's dinner time. It's dinner time with the Tila's. Family meal in our house is a time everyone's off tech, Everyone's involved in the kitchen. What's up, monkey? Hi. You gonna help? Yeah. All right, can you help me cut some vegetables? You are the knife skills master. Learning about food and technique, it's so deep, you know what I mean? I don't think there's anything more important than spending quality time together with your family around prepping a meal, cooking a meal, and then enjoying it one together. So tonight we're making braised short ribs. And it's a special dish for me. Uh, as, as a kid, we were super poor. Beef in my family, was a luxury. Having short ribs was like Christmas. When we went out to eat fancy, we got to eat beef short ribs. And I really didn't understand how to make this uh, until I was in my 20s in French culinary school. So I turned around and got to make it for my mom. One of the first dishes I made for her was this dish because we ate it so many times in fancy dinner night. And it was one of the dishes uh, when, we, when I was dating Allie uh, was to make short ribs. So, you know, it, it's a very meaningful dish. Raising in general is using a liquid to gently break down a tougher piece of beef. And you might think tough beef, not delicious. It's actually more delicious. You need to coax the flavor of all that connective tissue needs to be softly broken down. The technique is very simple. You take the short ribs, you season them really well. I like to lightly coat them with flour before I brown them in oil. I think the flour helps kind of absorb the moisture and if it forms a little crust, it helps the beef stay together. Then mirepoix is simply celery, carrots, onions to add layers of flavor. They all end up through liquid marrying into that beef and lifting it up. It's like an orchestra. Beef is the star and all that goes in an oven at 325 and what's happening in the pot, slowly the connective tissue inside the short rib melts, becomes this rich jus. Two and a half to three hours till deliciousness. Beef's kind of the perfect animal from a chef's point of view because nose to tail and everything in between, there are gold mines and there are moments there. So yeah, I think when a chef looks at a side of beef, a cow, I mean, I, I'm always thinking about delicious bits all the way through, you know what I mean? And I probably could name off a hundred of them just as sitting here. <laughs>